Hi kids, myself Sheila Borges, your English teacher. We all love stories, isn't it? And we learn about them either by reading or listening. Do you think all the stories are connected to real life? No. Stories can be categorized into two and they are real and imaginary. Let's learn about an imaginary story, Anya and the Dragon. You all are welcomed to the real and imaginary world. A horse with the wings. Isn't it an imaginary idea? Have you ever seen a dragon and a girl sitting on it? Are they real? An elephant with the butterfly wings. A fairy who visits you every day in your dreams at night. Things that are imaginary don't really happen. But the picture where you can see a sun, the trees, the cloud and the blue sky, they do exist and we see them in our day-to-day -day life. Here, the aim of our lesson is predicting a story by looking at the pictures. And we are going to learn five key words in the story. The first one is scared. The second one, lonely. Crutches, stretched and a pond. We will learn about these words and the meanings at the end of the story. Oh God, a huge and a scary dragon with large wings. Children, are you ready to learn about this dragon and a kind girl, Anya? So let's go into that imaginary world. In a land far away, there lived an old dragon. He was kept chained in the king's palace. Everyone was scared of him. The dragon was lonely and sad. He wanted to fly in the sky. The chains hurt on his feet. But what he could do? Last, late one night, when the dragon was sleeping, he heard something. He opened his eyes. It was Princess Anya. Her left leg was shorter than her right leg. She had to use crutches to walk. Will you give me a ride on your back? Asked Anya. She told the dragon how she couldn't ride horses like her brothers did. The king wouldn't let her because of her crutches. I know where the keys to your chains are kept. She said, my father keeps them in his cupboard. Then, aren't you afraid of me? Asked the dragon. No, said the brave princess. You have kind eyes. The dragon smiled. That night, Anya went to the dragon with the keys. And she opened the keys and the lock and made the dragon free. Then what happened? The dragon stretched his wings. Ah, it felt so good. They flew high and low. They flew near the moon and over the stars. When they came back, the king was standing there. I saw you, said the king. Anya was scared. So was the dragon. Then, but the king smiled. I have never seen you so happy, Anya, 
He said, From now on, you can ride the dragon. Anya and the dragon were very happy listening to it. He took the keys from Anya and threw them in the pond. The dragon smiled. He was free at last and he had a very kind friend and that was Anya. The key words what we are going to learn today and the meanings of that key words are scared which means to be afraid of. Lonely. The dragon was lonely, right? In the room when he was chained. What is the meaning of lonely? Alone. Crutches. Do you remember what did I say? Anya used crutches to walk because her left leg was shorter than the right leg. What do you mean by crutches? Poles with padded tops that helps person to walk. And the next meaning we have is stretched. When the dragon was made free by Anya, he spread his wings without tearing. And the next one is pond. Pond is a body of water smaller than a lake. Today students, we have learned how kind Anya was to the dragon. She freed the dragon from the chains and she was also a brave girl. And the dragon was kind enough to take Anya on its back and fly high into the sky between the moon and the stars. I hope you have loved this story and understood the meaning of a real and imaginary. Thank you students. Have a wonderful day.